The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, has met with the indigenous people of Abuja where he urged them to embrace the Catholic faith and participate in all aspects of the church life in Abuja. The meeting, which was tagged Third Congregation with the Archbishop, provided an opportunity for the Baggies, the Koros, the Gwandaras and other tribes of the Federal Capital Territory who are the original inhabitants, to showcase their rich cultural heritage. CTV's Tony Abba was there and he filed in this report. From different communities in the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, these original inhabitants of Abuja are gathered here at the Cathedral of Twelve Apostles, Kubwa Abuja, for the third congress with the Archbishop. The congress began with a holy mass officiated by Archbishop Ignatius Kaigama and concelebrated by the director of Aid to the Church in Need, ACN Poland, Reverend Father Professor Waldemar Sislo. In his homily, Kaigama enjoined the indigenous people to embrace the Catholic faith and own it assuring them that the Catholic Church will not abandon them. Well, beware, your children, your sons and daughters will come to worship and all that is good will flow from this cathedral into them. The cathedral is still in the process of being built. There is still a lot of work to be done. But I want you from now on us to take possession of it that this is your own. As I keep saying, you are not strangers, you are not foreigners, because nobody is a foreigner in the church. This celebration is for me to create that awareness among all of us in the Archdiocese that everybody matters. You, the indigenous tribes, were the first to settle here for decades and decades, if not centuries. The federal capital territory came from Lagos and met you here. And the progress of development has been so fast that it's very easy for you to be forgotten, even by the government. And even in the church, if we don't take time, we may forget that you exist because we are a gathering of people from all parts of Nigeria. And we are so dominant, so intelligent, and so high up there in government work, that you that are not blessed with these high offices can easily be swept aside. And we are saying, no, you, you matter. After the homily, Offertory and Eucharistic consecration followed. The indigenous people took turn to dance to the altar in thanksgiving to God. <laughs> After the mass, the reception followed. Different cultural groups displayed their cultural heritage in dancing and food. Some of the participants at the Congress spoke to CTV News. You can see for yourself the large crowd gathered here from the Bagi ethnic group, Koro ethnic group, Gwandara and others. They are looking so happy and enthusiastic. Coming together among themselves is already a blessing and then also coming together in order to be involved actively in evangelization is a major blessing. And coming together also, they pray about their social needs. As you can see, they have been pushed to the peripheries. And the, the town is full of so many government development and infrastructure, but they are in the periphery. They don't have the social amenities that are required. Bringing them together like this, we don't provide anything concrete or material for them, but we give them hope. We pray for them and we ask God to keep them going and they should be united among themselves, avoid violence, avoid uh, immorality, avoid anything that is going to disrupt the peace of this FCT. 
So we are very happy in the past three years for what has happened. You can see them, Muslims, non-Catholics are here, the chiefs are here, the young people are here, the women. So it's been wonderful. We thank God for this. Very happy that he took this bold step to bring my people closer to themselves so they can share ideology and share their dreams together. It is actually very demanding, but I must confess, it is a thing of joy that you are in the front and others are following you. It gives me more joy that one day, one day, we'll get to where we're supposed to be. In line with the vision of the, his Lordship, most Reverend Dr. Ignatio Kaigama, it is a vision that uh, he filled the aspect of evangelization to bring people together, the indigenous people together who have, uh, for instance, people used to see me, they feel, uh, are you a Catholic? So many people don't believe I'm Catholic. And so many people feel, ah, uh, Bagi cannot be Catholics. So I think this is one of the view and his vision to bring this unity, to unite people and bring us together, to show, to prove to people that Catholic is one thing, it's one unique body in Christ Jesus. So that is the primary motive and to the glory of God you have seen. Even though with the, I'm seeing this outing today as a poor outing com compared to others that have passed, but we believe in God that this little one that people have shown the enthusiasm that people are happy with the vision and the mission of His grace. You can see in Christ there is no Vandera, there is no Igbo, there is no Hausa. We are all here. What really moved me is that our chief, most of the times, you find out that chiefs, they find it difficult to come to the church. But you can see that this gathering has really brought something special. All our chiefs, our elders are here, and that's an applause. The, what we would do is to encourage each other in love. Because without love, there is not evangelism. So when we do love, we should be able to know that, yes, God is love. Compared to like uh, this banditry and all this, we should know that it's always a poor man that suffers this. But when we come together, we reach out in peace, in love of one another. You can see people here, everybody is happy. And that's why we're supposed to have seen even Muslims here. Wow, it's great. Shakoya, <laughs> go uh, For me, this is my first time coming to this uh, gathering like this. But uh, as you can see the environment, and you can see the environment is sound, it's conducive, and uh, we give God the glory. Because as you can see, this gathering is trying to bring unity between us, the indigenous people, the Bali people. And uh, I know with the help of the Dr. Agama, uh, things will go well. And we know that uh, the Bali people will continue to be united. Wow, wow, wow. It's really, really um, a God-given um, vision from um, the Archbishop of Abuja, his um, Lordship. We want to appreciate God for his life, for finding us worthy to even be a member of his own uh, group of evangelization. A remarkable breakthrough on this program because when we started earlier, it was like we, did, we are not going to make it. But to God be the glory, now there's a, a lot of um, um, testimony to give. We have we have um, seminarians over, they are over eight or um, 10 to and above. And we have some students also that are studying in Veritas, courtesy of this program. And then we pray and then we believe that more are coming. And um, he's reaching out to the less privileges with palliative and then he's not showing difference, he's showing both, he's giving both to the Christian and to the Muslims. And my community mostly is, um, um, they are the Muslim dominants in FCT. The Gwandara tribe, you hardly see a Christian among them. So I think this is um, a big work for um, the bishop, for him to go down to the rural uh, dwellers, especially the Gwandaras, so that we will win souls for Christ.
Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.